Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is all about the joy of blue and a little bit of Halloween. Normally in the fall, you think of autumn colors, you think of pumpkins, oranges, greens, kind of jewel tones, maybe some deep reds. I made these little earrings out of carnelian. They're supposed to be inspired by the pumpkin. And you think of a lot of uh, leaves and you know, there's some scary things too, skeletons and goblins and witches and all things like that. But you're still looking most of the time at the fall colors and you might see a little bit of um, purples in there and all. But sometimes, I like to think outside the box. This month, when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for Joy of Blue, and I was digging around in my bead stash, I found some really cool blue skull beads. Let's see. Aren't those cool? I don't know if you can tell or not but his eyes have little clear crystals in there. And even his teeth. I don't know if you can see his teeth shining there. But when I saw these, I, I knew for sure I wanted to make something for the joy of blue. I have a total of five of these skull beads. So the first thing I thought of is to make a pair of earrings. I took a, some glass pearls and just strung them all together with these skulls and I really love the way they turned out. By the way, something interesting that I learned. Did you know that skulls are one of the most common signs used in fashion? I didn't know that. But when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I see them all over the place. And they're actually, um, a lot of people wear them to ward off maybe illnesses or evil spirits. I thought that was kind of interesting too. So skulls aren't just something that you can wear during Halloween, but you can wear them any time of year. The next thing I did was make this bracelet set. I just took one of the skulls and wired it onto a head pin and hung it onto a split ring and then put it on one of my waterproof bracelets that I make. Uh, we have two bracelets here actually. We have a four strand and a one strand. They make a really nice set. Of course, whenever you hang anything on a, quote, <laughs> waterproof bracelet, most of the time it's not going to be 100% waterproof. You should never, ever um, get any of your jewelry wet, and that includes 18 karat gold, uh, any of your fine jewelry, or your costume jewelry, or your handmade jewelry, because the chemicals... In a swimming pool, the soap scum in a shower or bath, and the salt water in the ocean can deteriorate any type of metal. So I have two little skulls left over. What to do with them? Since they're so teeny tiny, actually the first thing that comes to mind is to make a pair of earrings for one of my dolls. And I actually have a little dress with skulls on it. And these are actually sugar skulls, which these are sugar skulls. And that corny opening that I did, that is a sugar skull too. So when I look at these, I'm like, that goes really well. And then when you put it up next to this dress, you can see kind of a purple hue to the blue skulls. So we're going to make a little tiny pair of earrings for this little girl, which also a real human little girl could wear them. Or I know some of you do like to have dainty jewelry, and that would be perfect for any of you who like dainty jewelry. This is a very easy project. Of course, you need your beads. You need a couple of ear wires, some head pins. And I am going to use um, hmm, one of those beads isn't a bead, but I'm going to use these tiny 
seed beads. I need one more here. There we go. You need round nose pliers, some flat nose pliers, and some wire cutters. So the first thing you need to do is put one of the little tiny seed beads on your head pin, put one of the skulls on a, the head pin, and another little tiny seed bead on top of the skull there. You can elect to do it without those little tiny seed beads, but I'll be honest with you, and I'll show you here. I really think that the skull looks so much more finished when you use these little beads. On this particular bracelet, I did not do that only because I actually wired the um, head pin around. We are not going to do that this time. So once you have all your beads on your earring, you just bend your head pin at a 90 degree angle. So you bend it, you cut it. I usually like to use my finger as a little uh, measuring tool. Make sure you hang on to that head pin or you're gonna have it fly across the room. So we bent it, we cut it, and now we're gonna loop it. And just loop it around and close it up. And then we're going to hang it. You're just going to open that up, hang this. And this particular pair of earrings doesn't really matter if they're hung the right way because these skulls spin around. But some uh, pieces of jewelry, you want to make sure that uh, your charm is hanging in the right direction. But you close it up and you have yourself an earring. Let's do the other one. I strung them up, bend it, cut it, loop it, hang it. and wear it. I love it. <laughs> Let me get uh, Sunshine all dressed up here in her new little outfit and I'll show you what it looks like on. And there they're all finished. They're actually a perfect size for her. I'm going to do a little photo shoot so stay tuned for that at the end. I made her a little bracelet. So we have earrings for your doll or your granddaughter, earrings for yourself, bracelet for you, bracelet for your doll. And yes, I can make the smaller bracelets for the granddaughter too. It just depends on how old granddaughter is though. So I probably need to know what size wrist she has. Although you can adjust these and I do have a video on how to do that. Anyway, stay tuned for the photo shoot at the end. I hope you all enjoyed the joy of blue. Go check out everybody else. Crafting and Relaxing is the one who hosts this. And I really enjoy getting out all my blue stuff every month and creating with them. I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Mostly though, Sunshine and I hope you have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette and Sunshine signing out for now. Bye-bye.